Where? Over there. I'm calling Milton. And Milton, please contact the lobby desk Look, uh, well, don't you think you should go join her? I'm talking to you now. Yes, I know that, but I don't want to do anything to antagonize her. Monica, what's wrong? Nothing, Laura. Really? You almost act as if you're afraid of my mother all of a sudden. No, 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 of course not. <laughs> I don't understand it, Monica. You've always known that Leslie didn't approve of our friendship. Why does it bother you so much all of a sudden? I, I just don't want to make waves, Laura. Not for you, or not uh, for me either. Something happened between you and Mom? No, no. Uh, look, uh, why don't I come down to the book room later? We can talk then. In the meantime, you go over and uh, talk to Leslie. Why is that so important to you? Uh... Well, you, you, you just said yourself that, that Rick and Leslie are having problems right now. And don't you think that you should do everything you can to, well, support Leslie? Okay, Monica. I get the message you just don't want to be no, not Laura, wait a No, that's not what I mean. Hi, hi, honey. Hey, hi, Laura. It's good to see you. Thanks, Colleen. It's good to see you, too. Uh, what's that on your finger? A ring. <laughs> you can bet your life it is. May I see it? Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. Scotty gave it to me. It's my birthstone. <laughs> Scotty has excellent taste in every department. <laughs> it's my most precious possession. Can you stick with us for a bit? Ah, uh, thanks, Mother, but I've got to get back down to the book room. There's a whole new shipment of books that have to be inventoried and cataloged, so... Okay. Bye, Colleen. Bye, honey. Oh, ah, youth. If you could only buy it by the pound. Yes. Well, it's a wonderful and a terrible time. I sure wish I could go back there and do it all over again. How about you? Me? Not on your life. All that pain, all that emotion, not for one minute. I feel so sorry for my poor Laura. She's so vulnerable. Well, she's got a terrific mother to help out. Uh, times like these, there is not much a mother can do except stand by to pick up the pieces if it all falls apart. Laura seemed in pretty good shape to me. Oh, sure, for now. Trust me, five minutes it can all change. Oh, honey, that's part of living ups and downs every day. Uh-huh. But Laura, you see, does not do anything halfway. Laura flings herself into life and expects it all to be a wonderful fairy tale. And then if disappointments come, she's... So oh, disappointed she can't cope with it. I hoped so much that her therapy was going to get her to a slightly more realistic viewpoint on life, but I think there's still a way to go there. You know what? You're something else. Why? I mean, you've got all these problems of your own, you're still worried about Laura. I don't think that will ever change. At least not until I feel she's Really solid, really secure, and on her way to some kind of realistic happiness. Did you see the look on her face when she was talking about Scotty and the ring? You bet. I gotta bust out crying she was so full of love. Okay, now that's what I mean. That's the fairy tale. She looks on this marriage as the solving of, the answer to, the end of all of her problems, past and present. If it doesn't work out exactly the way Laura wants it to, I don't know what's going to happen to her. I went crazy. I know Rick told you the truth. 
Nothing happened between us. Nothing. I believed him when he told me he didn't make love to you. Unfortunately, the problem still exists because I also know he wanted to. So if you only knew how I felt. Unfortunately, right now, the only feelings that concern me are mine. <laughs> Leslie, Monica, you and Rick created this problem. If there's one thing that I've learned in therapy, it's that I don't have to suffer for other people's problems. I know you're uncomfortable with me. I don't blame you. I know you're even uncomfortable with Laura now. I can see that. And I know it's going to be difficult for you to keep up the pretense with Alan, but those are your problems. They are not mine. I don't have to deal with them. I don't have to worry about them. And I don't have to figure out a way to make life easier for you. What I have to do is worry about my own survival. Oh, as a woman and as a human being. May I say one thing? Yes, of course. Now, you can believe this or not, but I love Alan. And I want more than anything in this world to make our marriage work. That's, that's not my business. All I wanted to do was to find a way of easing some of the uncomfortable awkwardness right now. Right. You and I have never been particularly close. There's no reason why we have to pretend a close friendship that never existed. Yeah, but we're going to be thrown together, and I mean, in, in social affairs like the uh, like the planning of the cardiac wing. Obviously, for anything that had anything to do with the wing, I would put a face on it for appearances, for Rick's sake. But as far as anything that involves the four of us, you and Alan, and me and Rick. No more, okay? Yeah. And uh, thank you for being honest with me. Obviously, I know that you and Rick work very closely and very constantly together. How you two deal with that relationship is really up to you. And if you and Laura want to be friends, that's between you and Laura. I have to remove myself from you and your problems right now. I don't know what's going to happen in the future to any of us. I just have to try and unclutter the present. May I say one more thing? Yes, of course. And again, uh, you can believe it or not, that's your choice. I see if I had it in my power to uh, undo that night and the weeks that led up to it, Unfortunately, life doesn't work that way. But at least Rick has been honest with me. And I've been honest with you. So maybe that gives us a fresh start. Now we both have work to do, and if I don't go right now, we'll be late for the clinic. Excuse me. things I thought you should know about. I had a talk with Laura earlier today, and then a talk with Leslie. About uh, what? Well, with Laura, it was mostly trying to discourage her from coming to me with some personal problems. Uh, as a confidant, I mean, I, I think she needs someone to talk to. I just don't think it should be me. I don't want to do anything to antagonize Leslie. Monica, I know Leslie well enough to know that she doesn't blame you for anything that happened. I know that too, because she told me. However, it uh, doesn't keep me from blaming myself. Blaming anyone is not going to change it. Oh, I just don't want things to get any worse. The more complicated, the less possible. Oh, why does that have to happen? Everything was going just fine with all of us, with you and Leslie, with Alan and me. Monica, what exactly is bothering you today? Laura told me that you and Leslie are sleeping in separate bedrooms. Yes, that's true. All right, Tracy. I don't have any of the answers right now. I mean, I'm taking it a day at a time. Leslie's doing what is best for her. 
at this point. I'm sorry things turned out the way they did for you two. So am I. And not that I agree with Leslie, but it's very important to work this marriage out. I had an alternative. I had to do it her way. Well, I, I thought you should know about the talk. Yes, thank you very much. I, I'm very appreciative of her honesty and, and having it out in front like this. Well, now I uh, have to figure out how I can discourage Alan from inviting the two of you over. On your way. Anyway, uh, however, it is my problem. It isn't yours. I'm just sorry that Laura is so upset by her. So am I, Rick, because she is terribly. Well, we've done everything we could to reassure her. Well, what have you said to her? Well, basically nothing. I mean, I was in a rather rotten situation. I mean, what can I say to her knowing full well that I am the cause of all the problems? Monica, you are not in stop thinking like that. You're not responsible for those feelings that I had to fight to control that night. They come from what's inside of me. Now, Leslie asked me for the truth, point blank. I had to tell her. Now, it was from my answer that she decided on separate bedrooms. Oh, Rick. Monica, I don't think we should be discussing this. living this feeling of dishonesty. I mean, it gnaws away at me like every time that we're together and Alan's around. Those are the feelings I think both of us are going to have to eliminate totally from our lives. We've seen the danger. We know the dimensions of this thing between us, and I think we have to keep handling it until it doesn't threaten us or the people that we care about any longer. Yeah. Well, I'm trying. Either one of us can do. I mean, the real danger is dropping our guards, and I don't think we can do that for one minute. You're right. Yeah. So, are you uh, on your way home? No, no, I have a little more paperwork to do, and Leslie's going out tonight. Laura's having dinner with Scotty, so I don't have anything really important to run home to. 